Miss Leisha. You shouldn't visit when it's raining like this. You'll catch a cold. S sorry, Marinette. I mean it. I just couldn't help myself. <laughs> oh, Marinette, are you blushing? No. You think I'm cute. No, I don't. You like me. Shut up. How are you feeling? Bad. Hmm. Well, you have a fever. Marinette was right. Regretting your rainy rendezvous? Hmm. <sighs> nope. Ah. <laughs> uh. Poor Adrian, out sick. Should I take him some soup? Mayor Bourgeois! Akuma? Oh my god, this Akuma sounds ruthless. According to my calculations, this Akuma looks and sounds like she's at maximum capacity. There's a 97% chance that she could stop you in your tracks! We should leave, now! Ah, oh, yes! Lady block time! Oh yeah, no! Please exit calmly, everyone. Go straight home. Marinette, you're the last one left. I'll be fine, Mademoiselle Bustier. I live across the street. Maybe you can stop Alia before she gets hurt? <sighs> you're right. Let's hope she didn't get too far. Be careful going home! Ready? Ready. Spots on! Uh, Akuma. Nope, you're sick. You're not going. Lady needs me. No, no, no. That's the fever talking. Flag? Claws out. Almost. Uh, come on, Shad. She needs you. Shad <sighs> Noir, why aren't you picking up? Uh. Shah, there you are. Uh. Uh. My lady. I'm here. Shaw? Uh. <laughs> Whoa! I got you, Kitty. Did you get hit? I didn't even see it. You look like a wreck. What? Mm. Uh, Bugaboo? Am I too small now? Huh? Shah, you're burning up. There's no way I'm letting you fight. You should be resting at home. I... don't feel good. I figured. <laughs> Akuma's close and you can hardly stand. I need to hide you before it finds you. But where? Maybe... Okay, Kitty. I need you to close your eyes for a while. Understand? I'm taking you somewhere safe, okay? Mm-hmm. Time to go. <laughs> okay. Remember, Sha, keep your eyes closed. <sighs> I can't believe I'm tucking you into bed with your shoes on. Uh-huh. <clears throat> Never mind, just lay down. I'll come back for you after a while. Okay. 
Get some rest while I'm gone, please. Yes, ma'am. I'll be back! Oh, and uh, while I'm gone, don't detransform. All right. <laughs> ah! Time for a detour. While I'm gone, don't detransform. While I'm gone, detransform. 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 Close out. Alia, Nino, Ladybug. Alia, will you become Rena? <laughs> yes. Alia, great to see you again. Tricks. <laughs> Let's pounce. <sighs> Sorry, Nino. Next time, promise. Nah, it's cool. Besides, the lady blog needs some good pictures of Rena. <laughs> Be sure to get my good side, Turtle Boy. Every side is your good side. <laughs> You're such a flatterer. Let's go! <laughs> So Kitty couldn't make it? Nope. Couldn't get away from his civilian life. Well, I'm not complaining. <laughs> Ladybug! Lady <laughs> Give me your miraculous! Let's make this quick, Rena. Fun, Ladybug. Rena Rouge! You can't ambush me here in the open. You can't even hurt me. So tell your pet to stop hiding and give me your miraculouses! Uh, run! What? What is she talking about? <gasps> Ladybug, you were hit! It dried instantly. I can't move my fingers. Okay, so don't touch the paint. Let's retreat. We need a plan. Right. <laughs> Running, Running like, like a, a couple, couple of cowards? cowards? Come, Come back, back here! here. <sighs> She's turning Paris into her personal canvas. Looks like we'll just have to be her critics. Lucky charm! A bottle? Acetone? Isn't that the stuff you use to clean up after chemistry lab? Wait a second. That stuff ate my nail polish last time I had a lab day. It ruined my new manicure. So it dissolves paint. Hmm. Hey, Drippy! Uh huh? Heard you were looking for me. Chat Noir! Finally came out of hiding, huh? Maybe. My turn. Ha! Didn't your little lady tell you? You can't lay a finger on me! I wouldn't be so sure. Cataclysm! Transform after five minutes. Drug him. Gotcha. Uh, no. You. No Akuma from the brush! Might be on her then! <gasps> I'll never!
never tell you where it is! And don't you dare look for it! You were right, Bug. She's not regenerating. Nope. All of that paint on the ground let her do that. She never stepped off of it when we fought. Without that and her paintbrush, she's harmless like this. Nice job herding her over here, by the way. <laughs> Thanks. I think the Akuma is in there somewhere. Watch for anything suspicious. Right. <laughs> Stop! Stop that! Ah, there! Of course. It's the only gray thing on her. Do your thing, Ladybug. No more evil doing for you, little Akuma. It's time to de evilize. Gotcha. Bye bye, little butterfly. Miraculous Ladybug. It. Ladybug? Rena Rouge? What happened? You were akumatized. I'm so sorry. Don't be. You can't help how you feel. All I wanted was to suggest a new art festival, but the mayor refused to even hear me out. I had the paperwork and an appointment and everything. He told me no one would care about celebrating a bunch of amateurs. I guess I got pretty upset. Hmm. What is your name? Renee. Well, Renee, maybe you could start a petition for the festival. If he sees that a lot of people want one, then maybe he'll reconsider. I'll be the first to sign it. And I'd be the second. <sighs> it's a great idea. Thank you. <laughs> That means you have to go, right? Go on, I'll be okay. Sorry, we have to go. Contact the Lady Blog when your petition is ready. We'll be able to see it there. Bug out! <laughs> Goodbye! Thank you! This will have to do. Sorry, Alia. My time is almost up, so we need to be quick. Right. Bye, Trix. I'll see you again soon. Bye, Alia. See you next time. You better get going, Ladybug. I'm sure Nino is looking for me, so I'll go find him. All right. Thank you for filling in for Shaw. No problem. and resting in my bed at home. He fainted in front of me. I had to put him somewhere safe and it was the first place I could think of. Does he know who you are? I don't think so. He kept his eyes shut the whole way there and should be asleep right now. <sighs> How am I going to get him home? He had a fever when I left him. I'm afraid to leave him on his own in the city. <laughs> Perhaps you can take him to a landmark close to his home. There are so many people living in Paris that it would hardly narrow his identity down, and being that close would make it easier for him to get home. That sounds like a good plan. I just hope he's okay. He felt really hot, Tiki. Chat Noir is pretty tough under his silly exterior. He'll be just fine after some medicine and rest. You're right. Though running across rooftops probably wore him out. I hope he doesn't get worse. Me too. Ready? Ready! Spots on! <laughs> Bye!
But first, we take tricks back. <laughs> I can't believe how long that took. My parents better not have found him. Oh. Wait! Ladybug! Ah! Uh. I... I can explain! It's not what it looks like! Uh. Okay... Maybe it's exactly what it looks like. Plug! Why is Adrian Agrest in my bed instead of Sean Noir? Well, uh... I guess you got confused by what you said? I don't know, I can't read his mind. But this is a good thing, right? I mean, you're in love with him and he's in love with you and... Sean Noir is Adrian Agrest. Yeah, you just saw him. Sean Noir is Adrian Agrest! Don't, don't say it too loudly. I've thrown Adrian Agrest across Paris! Adrian saw all of those pictures of himself in my room! Bug. He doesn't need another secret kept from him. You're right. Come on, Plague. Adrian, are you awake? <clears throat> My ladybug? <laughs> Who are you talking? <laughs> Plague? My lady, I don't. How did. I'm sorry! Whoa, whoa, whoa! <coughs> Easy, Adrian. Sha, it's okay. Come on, Shatong. Breathe for me. <coughs> I'm so sorry, Adrian. I didn't mean for that to happen. I... I don't understand. Well? Kate, you're sick. You acted out a fever dream. Now we're here, and Ladybug knows who you are. Well, lady, I'm so... No, no. It was an accident. And I'm not mad at you. You were completely out of it and didn't know what you were doing. I don't blame you for this. We'll talk when you're feeling better, okay? Okay. <laughs> Why am I a marinade? Later, Chaton. I'll answer all of your questions later. I promise. Hmm. You still look flushed. I need to take you home. Come on. <laughs> oh! Uh. Fan of mine, huh? <laughs> Maybe a little. Well, come on then, Mr. Number One Fan. I need you to stand for me. I'll take you up. Uh, Once we're out, I'll carry you home. Okay. Hold on. There. 
Whoa! <laughs> Sorry. Ready? I'm ready. Thanks, Plague. Do you remember when you last took your medicine? <sighs> this morning, I, I think. Natalie made him take some this morning. It's been about... Six hours. It's in the bathroom. I'll see if you're due for another dose then. Thank you. So, being nursed back to health by Ladybug. Enjoying yourself? Uh, maybe if I weren't running a fever. I think it's getting bad again. Let's take your temperature again. I already know I have a fever. Well, I don't know what else to do. <laughs> Black, just having you here is enough. Thank you. Mm. Mm. Adrian, take this medicine in two hours. And I brought you some water. I, uh, thought you'd be thirsty. Thank you, my lady. <laughs> uh, um... Right, I'm going to leave now, so is there anything else you need before I go? I think I just need more sleep. Okay. Good idea. Um... One last thing. Uh... Get well soon, Chateau. Bug out! Oh! If I catch you at another Akuma attack while you're sick, you're going to be in big trouble. Stay in bed and get better. Rena or Carapace can fill in for you. Yes, my lady. Plague, watch him for me. Got it, bug. <laughs> Message me when you feel better. See you later. were still locked so no one checked on him while he was gone. Being fussed over by Ladybug was probably his dream come true. Ugh, I just started warming up to Chat Noir and now I find out that he's been aging in this whole time. <laughs> what am I gonna do? Well firstly, I think you shouldn't put your face in that pillow considering how sick Adrian was when he was here. Chat Noir being Adrian, we have something important to discuss. <sighs> right, his identity being revealed. This was an accident. I had no way of knowing he had detransformed, and I don't think he realized what had happened either. I've never seen him so disoriented before. It really was an accident. You know you have to tell Master Fu, right? Yes. And you know he may take Adrian's Miraculous away, right? Yes, but... 
I've thought about this before, Tiki. If I lose my Shaw Noir, then I can't be Ladybug anymore. We're a team. We fit like a puzzle. I can't fight with a replacement. Besides, no one else has as much experience fighting as we do. Anyone who replaces Adrian would be at a severe disadvantage, especially since Hawkmoth is getting stronger. He would pick up on that weakness immediately. It's too risky. And it's even riskier to have a new ladybug on top of that, too. We're too deep into this fight to have a permanent hero change. It has to be us. And the people of Paris would be suspicious of a new black cat and ladybug anyway. Plus, I'd be completely lost without you. Well, those are valid points. I don't think Plague would ever forgive Master Fu if he took him from Adrian. And? I admit I put up a fight for you two. You two are one of the best cat and bug teams we've ever had. It would be a waste for Master Fu to take us away. And also, I've been training to be the new guardian. He would have to train someone all over again with time that we don't have. And since I'm going to be the guardian, I need to know Sean Noir's identity anyway. I guard the miraculous, so I need to know who has them. Then let's say that to Master Fu. Right. Oh, wait, Marinette. Mm? Maybe we should put your sheets in the wash before we leave. Good idea. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe get some lunch, too? <laughs> I guess Master Fu can wait a bit longer. So that's what happened, and now you know my thoughts on it. I'd need to know his identity eventually being the future guardian and all. I just learned it a little earlier than planned. Hmm. Please, Master Fu. Please don't take Adrian's Miraculous. Marinette, are you sure you're not being biased? You say you cannot fight alongside another black cat. But are you sure that it's not because you found out he is Adrian? You have very strong feelings for Adrian, after all. <laughs> Master, I've known that I wanted to fight alongside Shaw Noir from the moment we defeated Stoneheart. Yes, I... I do have a crush on Adrian, but he is my partner first. The thought of losing Shaw Noir... I can't imagine replacing him. Hmm. The Ladybug and Black Cat Miraculouses are connected. They're two halves of a whole, and so are we. I've always kind of felt this way, even though I didn't want to admit it before. Hmm. Yes, you two fit the Ladybug and Black Cat better than I could have ever hoped. You are right, Marinette. It is much too late to find new heroes and train a new Guardian. If I could even find a replacement with half as much potential as you. I admit that this reveal is not ideal. I would have much preferred you two to reveal yourselves after Hot Moth's defeat. But, perhaps this was meant to be. It would certainly strengthen your bond with each other, and be much easier for him to have an alibi when he must transform. Hmm. I will let him keep his Miraculous, and you yours. However, you are not to reveal yourself. You will have a hard enough time concentrating knowing that Chat Noir is Adrian. It would not be good for both of you to be distracted during fights. And if he finds out on his own? We will cross that bridge when we come to it. For now, be aware that knowing his identity is exponentially more dangerous for you both. Do everything in your power to protect each other. Yes, Master. Thank you. Now then, your tea is getting cold. Please drink it. I have a translation from the spellbook that I would like to go over with you. That 
that went... really well. I'm surprised, too. I guess all we need to do is wait for Adrian to get better. And then I answer any question he has. Well, almost any question. I'm getting nervous. You have at least a few days to prepare, though. Think positive. Think positive. Bunnix hasn't shown up yet, so maybe this will turn out fine. You shouldn't rely on Bunnix's interventions to make choices in life, Marinette. But I guess you are right. <laughs> Nino, did you sign the petition that Renee proposed? Yeah, I signed it last night. Sounds like a miraculous idea by reading what it's about. Nice move. Nino, look! Huh? Adrian! My man! Back in action! Good morning, Adrian. Good morning. You're looking a lot better today. Yeah, we were getting worried. Thanks, guys. I feel pretty good today, actually. Now that you're here, let's head inside. I want to go over the literature homework with you two before class starts. Come on, dude. Oh, let me tell you about the prank Alex pulled on Kim while you were out. Uh, wait just a second. Aren't we going to wait for Marinette? Oh, I guess you didn't hear. Marinette came down with something and has been sick at home for the past two days. There must be a cold going around. Oh, poor Marinette. Are you bringing her the classwork then? I am. Although... Nino and I were thinking about going out for ice cream after school, so we'll have to hurry. Uh... Yeah, our ice cream date. Then let me take it. I have a free schedule today, so I have plenty of time. You two can go have fun. I want to say hi to Marinette anyway. Perfect. Thanks, Agrest. Or should I say perfect? I'm sure she'll be happy to see you. Um, are you sure you have time? Can't we do this later? Like, a lot later? It's gotta be now. So long as the gorilla doesn't tell Natalie. My schedule is still free today from being sick. But tomorrow it's full again. If he doesn't tell her about our little impromptu tutoring session, I'm sure I can stay for a little while without getting reprimanded. Hmm. Come on. Don't give me that look. Everything will be fine. Promise. For you, maybe. If you worry, then I'm going to start worrying. Adrian, what a nice surprise! Hi, Mrs. Chang. I'm sure you were expecting Alia, but I'm the one with Marinette's schoolwork today. Oh, please come in then. I'll get you a snack while you're here if you'd like. Oh, thank you. Of course, dear. Um, is Marinette open to having company? I, I won't be long. She'd be delighted to know you're here. Marinette, you have a guest. Send him up, Mama. Hey, Marinette! Adrian, what are you doing here? I've got your work. I figured I should check on you since you weren't in class. You sound a little stuffy. Are you feeling okay? Not really. I'm cold and exhausted. My throat is on fire. I feel like my head might explode any minute. It hurts. Ah, uh, I'm really sorry. Um, I'll be fine soon though. It's not your fault I got sick. The cold must be going around. No. It is my fault. 
What, what are you talking about? I'm sorry I got you so sick. And I'm sorry I found out your identity, my lady. <laughs> How did... what? After I accidentally revealed myself and you took me home. Plague may not have been very subtle. Uh... Plague? <laughs> I never thought he'd pick up on it though, Tiki. Honest. You? You're so frustrating! Huh? I said sorry though. No, you didn't! And it just made sense. You look the same, you sound the same, you even act the same. Especially when you're focused. I've even mistaken you for Ladybug before. And why would Ladybug bring me to a random civilian's bedroom? I... Uh, I guess I should have thought through that a little better. Uh, we barely made it a week. Uh. <coughs> You're okay, Marinette. Breathe. <coughs> Sorry. Are you okay? Yeah. What did Plague do anyway? He can't reveal my identity. Plague likes to tease me about you. After I started thinking about it recently, I began comparing you to Ladybug. Eventually, it just clicked. But I've almost guessed your identity a few different times before. Maybe I've always known, deep down, every day, Ladybug. Mm -hmm. So, you're better, and now I'm sick. I guess I have some questions to answer. If you're feeling up to it, I can wait a little longer. No. You deserve to know things. You're my partner. Even if I'm still kind of processing that. Is it bad that I'm... No, not at all. I couldn't have hoped for a better outcome. I've, um, entertained the idea that it was you, but never went further than that. I really thought that only in my wildest dreams would Shah Noir be you. I feel the same way about you, Marinette. <laughs> You're so like. I don't know how I never saw it before. <laughs> <laughs> well, I could be a little more outgoing as Shah Noir. Otherwise, I'm pretty much the same. Mm. Even with... With my feelings for Ladybug. For you. My... More romantic feelings for you haven't changed. But I promise I won't go overboard. Now that I know who you are. You've always kept our relationship platonic as Ladybug, which... I'm completely okay with. I know that you only see me as your friend as Marinette, too. Especially after, well, when your father got akumatized because I was being dense. And you told me that you're just a fan of my work when I saw your room on TV last year. But I kind of started hoping that we got a little closer after we tried to go to London, though I couldn't really understand why I felt that way so suddenly. Like I've always had a bit of a crush on you, so... In retrospect, that makes a lot of sense, so... Adrian? What? You... you have a crush on me? On Marinette? Like a real one? Uh, yeah. I've always been in love with Ladybug, but... I've always thought of you differently from my other friends. <gasps> M Marinette? No! I've had the biggest crush on you for so long! What? Uh, I didn't want to do this now, but... Adrian, 
I've been in love with you since the beginning, when we first became friends. The day after we first met, it was raining. Do you remember? I gave you my umbrella. You were so honest and genuine with me, even though I was so upset with you. How could I not fall for you back then? You've been in love with... with me for that long? I never even noticed! How did I not notice? Do you still like me, though? You've never liked Chat Noir that way. Well, maybe as Marinette, but not really Ladybug. I was always too wrapped up in my crush on Adrian to really consider dating anyone else, even Chat Noir. But there have been a few times in the past. I've thought that if Adrian never existed, then <laughs> I would have fallen for Chat Noir so easily. But the thought of you not existing was too terrible to think about, so I shoved those feelings to the side. You can always look in my diary if you don't believe me. I wrote about it a few times. I can't believe I never noticed. I guess I was too focused on Ladybug to think of anyone else very seriously. <laughs> 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 Who else could this happen to other than us? Yeah, I'm a little embarrassed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, you're really in love with me? Mm -hmm. And I'm in love with you. Y yes. Marinette? Kiss you? No way. What? But but why not? <laughs> I'm too sick and gross for you to kiss me right now. You'll get sick all over again. But you caught my cold, so I should be immune. Just a peck? I'll tell you what, ask me again when I come back to school. You'll like my answer then, I promise. Can I at least stay with you a little longer? I'd like that. <laughs> so? Shot Noir pajamas, huh? Oh, don't you even start, Adrian Agress. Dude? You look so stressed or something. Good morning! <laughs> Marinette! Good morning! <laughs> Good morning to you too. So, you're not sick anymore? I'm fine now. Then, may I? You may. <clears throat> uh. Oh my god. Uh. Uh. Um. How long has this been going on? <coughs> it's recent, I swear. Dude, you didn't even tell me? <laughs> Sorry, Nino. Girl, I'm getting details today. You're not worming your way out of this. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Lead the way, my prince.
Hi everyone, my name is Mark Galloway. The reason why I'm telling you guys my full name for this video instead of my channel name is because I just want to do this a little bit more professionally. Now in this post credit video, I first of all just want to just thank all the amazing cast members who helped me out with this comic. You guys are amazing. You guys are awesome. You guys really just are miraculous and I really cannot be any more thankful and blessed for all you guys' help. And if it wasn't for you guys, like this comic wouldn't be possible. And the same thing goes for the creator of this comic, the amazing Oh Sweet Sweetie. I wanna really thank the amazing Haiti Tabbing. For those of you guys who do not know who she is, she voices Ladybug from the amazing YouTube channel, Phantom Savage. I love her work and she is like the amazing, most original voice of Ladybug that I first heard of for the first time when I watched all these comic dubs. I also want to thank Phil. I don't, I, I don't, I don't remember his full YouTube channel name. It's like Phil Masterman 10 or something. I want to thank Phil for his amazing, accurate Adrian slash Cat Noir voice. I'm, I'm also thrilled by all his voice acting and all his work and and really to all the cast members you guys did a phenomenal job and I really cannot be any more thankful for your guys' help and I really hope we can work together again someday and also casting call like some of the other characters like I had to go out all the way to try to find some more people to help me out with this comic and I really still cannot be more thankful for Vivian Reed, uh, like Jackie, all these people who are, who helped me out. And all the cast members, really, I cannot thank you enough. And now, while this video is not promoted or sponsored in any way, I do want to promote this product. This is the official Out Sick book by Oh Sweet Sweetie herself. It's full of amazing things. It's full of amazing things. Like, it not only does it contain the comic itself, it's the full extended version of the comic. Now, there is pages that were released online, but there's a lot more that was not released to online that I was able to put into this comic. But you can all just see it right here in this book if you receive it. It, And it also, first of all, also comes with this little alternate switch page. It's kind of like a flip book. Like, it's Adrian, and then all of a sudden, it's Cat Noir. And also, here's what it says from the creator. From Oh Sweet Sweetie. Special thank you to those who encouraged me and those who have stuck by me through this whole project. Your support means everything to me. And also, not only at page 7 does Out 6 start, there's also going to be some bonus comics, which show some side comics, and also the aftermath of what takes place after the comic. And there's also going to be some behind the scenes of Out Sick. I won't spoil so much of it. So if you ever want to get this book, message Sweet Sweetie and see if she can get a book for you. This is only a limited edition. And uh, she only releases the, releases these about uh, two or three times a year. But if you do want to get one yourself, you do have to purchase it. Just be sure to message Sweetie for a chance to get a book. Just send her a message when you can. As what she would say, thank you. And also, right here is the plot of the book. And that's about that. You can also ask her if you want stuff to be signed, the book, or anything. Also, this is in also in dedication to Kuro, which is one of her cats. If cats really do have nine lives, I hope you can find in me in your next one. Okay, guys. Thank you so much for watching this uh, comic dub. Be sure to give Sweetie the credit that she deserves. And also to still give uh, credit to all the Miraculous team. Because they're still the most amazing anime series that has ever existed in this era. Anyways, guys, before we end this video, let's get to some bloopers!
don't know how that's supposed to sound, but whatever. Oh, yeah, Nino. Is it Nino or Nino? Oh, Marinette, are you blushing? <gasps> you think I'm cute. You like me. I already know how I... I already know I have a fever. You two can go have fun. I want to say... I'm, I want to say hi to Marinette anyway. You two can go have fun. I want to say hi to him. I want to say hi to Marinette anyway. Say that again. I want to say hi to Marinette anyway. I want to say hi to Marinette anyway. It's got to be now. So long as the gorilla doesn't tell Natalie. Fuck. If he doesn't tell her about our little impromptu tutoring session, I'm sure I can stay for a little while without getting reprimanded. After I accidentally revealed myself and you took me home. Plague may not... Plague may not have been very subtle. I've even mistaken you for Ladybug before. And why would Ladybug bring me to a... And why would... And why would Ladybug bring me to a random civilian's bedroom? You've always kept our relationship platonic with... You've always kept our... You've always kept our relationship platonic, as Ladybug. Well, maybe as Marinette, but not a, not really Ladybug. Do you still like me, though? You've never liked... I guess I was too focused on Ladybug to think of anyone else. Ugh. But you caught my cold, so you... Marinette! You sound a... You sound a little stuffy. <sighs> Plague likes to tease me about you. After I started the... Plague's like... Mm. Ah, yes! Ladybug time! Oh, yes! Ladybug time! <gasps> yes! Yes! Try this! Uh, run! Might be on her then. Let's head inside. Perfect! Oh, oh, oh. Um, oh, um, oh. Um, how long has this been going on? 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 Right. Or should I say, perfect. Perfect. Or should I say, perfect. Or should I say, perfect. Or should I say, perfect. <laughs> oh, you know. Oh, you know. Oh, you know. Ladybug! Ladybug! Besides, the ladybug needs some good pictures of Rena. Every side is your good side. <laughs> Every side is your good side. Uh, Every side is your good side. Dude! You didn't even tell me? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Mare bourgeois! Mer bourgeois! Mer bourgeois! Don't let him touch you! Don't let him touch you! Chat Noir will detransform after five minutes! Trap him! Trap him! Trap him! According to my calculations, this Akuma looks like. No, I was there. Squeeze! Zip!